Hello everybody and welcome to the card for Money in the Ass, the phenomenal pay-per-view that's coming to us on the 21st of June, uh, Sunday, 2000 UTC. I'm Jim McMahon and with me to present this to you is Gorilla Metal. Hello, Jimps, and what a fucking show is in store for Sunday night. We're going to open up Money in the Ass with our eight-man Money in the Ass match. We're just going to kick it right off. Squirrel Dude, Kiwi Nutsack Attack, Ardvac, Moradam, Bakers, Flicky Flack, Bezel, and Muppet Pac-Man are all going to be competing in a ladder match to claim the Money in the Ass briefcase, which will allow them to have a contracted title shot against any title in their weight division or higher at any time that they so choose. It's just a hell of an advantage and almost a guarantee to put the gold around their waist. I cannot wait for this match, Jim. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. We've had eight qualifiers, all of them four-man eliminations, open to everybody, and we've had random draws. They've been incredible elimination matches, and now we'll hopefully have an incredible eight-man ladder match. Whoever gets that briefcase, as you say, they will have this opportunity. It's, it is the money-in-the-ass opportunity. It's like almost guarantees them being a champion at some point, you know, provided they use it intelligently. Which in the GFW. That's right. Jim McMahon saying exactly what I just said, only clumsier. Let's move to our next match. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, the Chaos Chosen Championship. The oft-forgotten-about title is going to be on the line. Clavius versus Rick Reckless. And let me tell you, Squirrel Dude was the guy vying for this title. But for some reason, uh, Jim McMahon saying he cannot have two matches in one night even though several other people on the card will be so he named his friend rick reckless as his replacement for this match claiming that he is going to win money in the ass and then challenge rick reckless on monday night claw the very next night but to be able to do that rick is going to have to go through clavius with johnny five in his corner always a threat over there and this uh, should be a match all right haven't seen Clavius doing a whole lot as of late, so it's nice to see this belt coming back into uh, back into uh, primetime, Jim. Yep. <laughs> I learned my lesson after the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nailed yep. it. Got your slogan. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, next nailed it. Up, you nailed it. That's next it. Next up, we have another match, and that match is a handicap match. Flicky Flack and Marcel McDaniels, the two men, that murdered former wrestler G'day Nick. Uh, both got beaten down by Night Demon in succession. Claimed that they, a Flicky Black came out on Friday night, claimed that he wanted nothing to do with Night Demon's white knighting and said he didn't have a friend in the back room. So if he can't find a partner for this match, it's going to be a handicap match. And frankly, I think at this stage we're looking at a handicap match. That's not a lot of time for an undead demon to make best friends with someone to get out there and help him in a match. Yeah, absolutely. It's looking grim for Night Demon. Uh, probably going to be a painful night for him. And speaking of painful <laughs> nights, Tony plays poorly in a submission match. We've seen this time and again. Unseen Walker calling his shot on this one. Given the right to name the title or name what kind of match this title match will be, and he chooses Tony's biggest weakness, the submission match. Don't know that we've ever seen a submission move by Unseen Walker, but I'm sure he's got something up his kilt for Tony. Oh, boy, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, of course I missed the golden opportunity to put Tony in his in his give up sometimes thing. Should we restart the video? Oh, good lord, no! Just keep going. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I, I will update that. And yeah, it's, it's going to be funny. Will Tony give up sometimes, or will he not? That, it, yeah, I mean, you like never it. know. You never know which Tony's going to show up on any given night. Exactly. He only gives up sometimes. Well, unless you're Jim, who makes him show up as whatever he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now the two heads championship is on the line. Oriolensis and Lean Guerra, the former champs, Das Hots, taking on Finney and Chunter, the fucking rats. And these two know each other so well. But Oriolensis and Lean Guerra had to fight their way through an elimination tournament to get this title shot. Succeeded, but in the main or in the final match, 
using a little bit of trickery to get a count out. Finney and Chunter wanting nothing to do with that, even though they have the champion's advantage. Got this match made as a tornado tag falls count anywhere match. This is going to be mayhem. The fucking rats, always a delight to watch, but Das Hot have been on a hell of a win streak. This could be a heck of a match, Jim. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Uh, Finney and Chunter did lose uh, to Dress for Business before this, whereas Das Hat's picked up a big win versus uh, Rude Ham. And yeah, you know, as you say, Finney and Chunter are under no obligation to make this false count anyway. They, they would have had the advantage in a count out situation, but being the good heroic guys that they are, that's what they've done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they want to just end this uh, feud and move on. And I think uh, I think after their loss to Dress for Business, they know what they're looking at in the future if they can retain. But Absolutely. now we come into everyone's favorite division, the Plim Plum Loserweight, the lightest guys in the business, putting on the heaviest fucking matches, and Moradam doing double duty coming off of his earlier match will face Ghoulface Killa, the reigning Flim Plum Loserweight champion, in an Extreme Rules match. And that really favors Moradam, who can uh, just do whatever he wants to uh, Ghoulface Killa's balls, and he <laughs> absolutely will. And there will be no repercussions from the referee in this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's going to be tough to retain for GFK, as, you know, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got to look after his balls and his belt. <laughs> Yep. And then our main event, the extra arms belt is on the line. EAB managed by Robo Bezel will face the Enigma Tarsus, who has just been on an inexplicable tear as of late. And uh, yeah, what can you say about the mustachioed luchador uh, heavyweight <laughs> coming out here, winning matches, has a win against EAB, and he is just vying for the title now but we have seen eab turn it on in title matches before winning a two out of three falls match over Flatford. i think this is eab's night and i don't think tarsus has what it takes to get in there but then every time i've said that in the past i know i picked the wrong guy so don't sleep on tarsus on sunday night yeah, he certainly made a big impression in a short period of time in the JFW, and that's his reward. An amazing, an amazing opportunity versus EAB in the main event of Money in the Ass. Cannot wait for Sunday, Jim. Absolutely no. I, I'm, I'm more hyped for this than I've been for any wrestling event in a long time. <laughs> me too. <laughs> So anyway, that, that's it from me, Gorilla Metso, and I will see you at 8 p.m. UTC on Sunday, June 21st. Yes, at twitch.tv slash Jimmy Fantastic. It will be on YouTube a day later. So there you go, um, on obviously jimmyfantastic.com. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metso. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.